actually because this doesn't need to be a typical ASMR video. It's actually going to be very, very short. Um, but I get requests actually very often to film this video, so I'm going to do it. Um, I feel like I'm not the person that should be making this video um, because, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I'm not like this huge ASMR artist with millions of followers that's crazy successful. But I do get asked all of the time, hey, can you make a video about how to start an ASMR YouTube channel? Um, and I have never made one because I don't have that much to say about it. Um, but I figured as somebody who has been recognized in public like three times, which is like crazy to me, I figured I might as well make this video because I feel like that gives me enough like that I have enough of a platform to be able to like be able to give anybody tips um I don't have a plan for this video I also didn't even think that I was gonna film this video today but I don't have a lot to say it's also not gonna be long um but I get this question a lot how do you start an ASMR YouTube channel and I think I also get asked a lot um why I started my own channel and the reason that I started my own channel was because I realized how easy it was, um, which is what I'm going to tell you guys. Um, so I started watching ASMR probably when I was in sixth grade, um, I think about sixth grade, and I am now about to go into my first year of college, um, and I would always watch like the hi-fi, like, I don't know, really calming ASMR videos. I watched eating ASMR videos a lot. I think that's what got me into ASMR. Um, and eventually, after watching ASMR for a while, I started watching lo-fi ASMR. Um, another question I get a lot is what a lo-fi ASMR is. Lo-fi ASMR, in my opinion, I think it's interpreted differently by most people, is if I were to unplug this microphone right now, um, if I were filming using just my phone microphone, or if I was using a mini mic, or maybe my Apple microphone, it's like a lower quality ASMR is what I consider lo-fi. Some people consider lo-fi with just using a, a bad camera. Um, even, no matter what microphone they're using, some people consider lo-fi bad camera and bad, like cheaper microphone, which does not mean anything bad at all. Um, but I started getting into lo-fi ASMR, and then I was like, oh, these people are using zero mic, zero camera. They're just using their iPhone, um, which is why I realized it was so easy. There were there are successful ASMR artists that use just their phone and nothing else. Um, so I decided I'd give it a try, and that's how I started my own YouTube channel. Um, I started my channel without my parents knowing. My mom and my stepdad did not know about my YouTube channel until... Um, two years and one day into me having a YouTube channel. My dad didn't know about my YouTube channel until I was um, ready to be monetized. Um, and I needed his bank information to be monetized because if you're a minor, it can't be like you can't get your own payment payments received to you. Um, so that's how I started my YouTube channel. Or that's how I told my parents. So if you're somebody who like your parents don't know or like you can't afford a, a blue Yeti microphone or a Tascam microphone or even any microphone, my suggestion for how to start a YouTube channel is literally just pick up your phone. I don't care if it's an iPhone. I don't care if it's an, the newest iPhone. I don't care if it's an iPhone, um, an iPhone 5. I don't care if you've got an Android. I don't care if you've got the newest Android Android. I don't care if you have literally any phone. Just literally prop up your phone somewhere and hit play. And then whisper. You can do soft spoken. You can do zero props. You can use just your hands. You can just whisper. You can do some camera tapping. Um, literally, it's that easy. That is how you start a YouTube channel. And then you upload it. Um, obviously, be within the YouTube guidelines so you don't get like a channel taken down or like you don't get videos taken down. Um, you don't have to show your face if you want to film all of your videos like chin and chin down. If you want to film your videos literally your phone facing the ceiling, you can do that. Um, showing your face will probably help with your channel growing. Um, but you can do whatever you want, and that's how you start a YouTube. 
YouTube channel. People ask me all the time what kind of editing software I use. I use iMovie. Um, I don't edit my videos. People have DM'd me asking if they could be a video editor for me. I don't edit my videos and I don't need an editor. And I know some people would argue that I should get an editor or that I should edit my videos, but I hardly edit my videos and I, I want to keep it that way because I like my channel that way. Um, so, I don't know. Use iMovie if you have an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, some cheap, either cheap or free editing software that you can download on your phone or your laptop if you want to transfer your videos onto your laptop. Edit your videos like that or hit play, hit end, and then just immediately upload it to YouTube. Now, if you have a YouTube channel, you should download the YouTube Studio app so you can look at your analytics. You can, you can change like a bunch of stuff on YouTube Studio, but literally my three tips are get YouTube Studio, have a phone. I, you can use a computer to film if you really want. You can use a camcorder if you really want and transfer it to like a laptop or something. I don't care what you do. Um, literally just grab anything and then if you need to edit, have, have some sort of easy editing. If you can afford a Blue Yeti mic and that's what you want to get, get a Blue Yeti mic. Um, if you get a Blue Yeti, um, what you need is some headphones if you want to listen to yourself while you're filming your microphone and then you need an adapter. You need an adapter to go from the cord for your Blue Yeti. Um, uh, I don't know if Blue Yetis come with this cord. I don't think that they do. Um, but you're gonna need a cord to fit into your Blue Yeti. I don't know what the, like, the, the jack, whatever it's called, the, the thing that plugs in, I don't know what it's called and what plugs into the adapter, but it's an easy Google search to find out what kind of cord you need to connect it to your phone. Or if you have a camera, you can use a camera. Um, if you're not filming lo-fi, um, that literally just you need a cord you need an adapter for that cord to plug into your phone whether it's an iphone or an android and then you need the microphone headphones if you want them and whatever you're filming with it's you don't you also shouldn't film what people tell you to film if people want a certain type of asmr if people want slow asmr but you want to film fast asmr do that um if you all of your videos you just want to talk about yourself and all of them you want to ramble do that what you talk about sometimes will determine how much your channel grows um what kind of videos you film will determine how much your channel grows how much how often you post can determine if your channel how fast your channel grows um if you, some people get really lucky where they have one video go crazy viral and then that kind of jump starts their um channel um but also never film something that you think will get views um unless you want to actually film that video because i think people are never going to be successful if they're just filming what they think will get views because people who are viewers can tell if you enjoy filming a video or not sorry i feel like i'm so tired so i'm not like in my head right now um so i feel like i'm rambling and being crazy um but viewers can tell if you're bored viewers can tell if you're not enjoying yourself so you have to film things that you actually enjoy um if you don't enjoy lo-fi as like filming lo-fi asmr save up for a mic um if you can't afford a mic um if you don't enjoy hi-fi asmr don't get a microphone if you don't enjoy um tapping don't do tapping videos if anything just do what you want to do and that is my advice you are more likely to grow if you are filming what you want to film and that I stand by that. Um, this is a longer video than I thought it was going to be. I think I hit every topic that I wanted. Um, if you guys have questions, comment down below. Um, if anybody thinks I'm a fool for filming this video, sorry. I wanted to film it. Um, I feel like people are going to be like, why is she talking about it? Why isn't it like GB ASMR, the biggest, a one of the biggest ASMR is why isn't she making this video? Um, I just get this, I get requested a lot to film this video, so I am. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Um, I, if you have any questions, let me know. I, I hate to be the person to be like, I know what I'm talking about, but I think from experience, I know how to start a channel 
and get somewhere from it. Um, anywhere from it. Um, so yeah. From starting off lo-fi. And I know a lot of people do that. I know I'm not the only person to start lo-fi and get anywhere with their channel. Um, but, I don't know. Okay, anyways, that's gonna be the end of the video. I rambled a lot. I'm really sorry. <laughs>